a hui ni uisle pa fáiltas fhaen roi vish dhaka dhian clár. Vranig me sa bóglar la fhaka la áilt a hurig minu cart ar an rod a pa tíf hír den chéad chéar ní nela a pa a gwen sa shrath sa. Ba hánig me ar a vokal zeitgeist agus shai an san vinu a vi os makor amach. The defining spirit or mood of a particular period in history as shown by the ideas and beliefs of the time. So the mefa yerig bre er a zeitgeist o hev un chyolde. Chafa sra auran agus purtakur lekele. A verak er atmosphere agus er sprid un trevse in a rev na hauran agus na purtchin a chama. Mas marshin a vi nir vre einrod. Einrod an echer er a zeitgeist. Marien Moving Hearts. They dropped the bomb in 45 to end the world war seen such a terrible sight before The world had gone with five eyes to see where it might lead The politics of power has to now see this was the time to remember that we never can forget the weapon The regime went like a sad key rush Der siad gartir dioran fa e an aam o chwyd goen agus gan awras aet aeste gloor a ba eirin sna siachto di agus sna hochto di. Fy fiog rod na gred dini eg achron mar gewe. I'm totally opposed to building a nuclear power station in Ireland. I don't think it's necessary at this point. What we want is militant resistance. When the time comes, I advocate that people lie down in front of the bulldozers. Bhí an túfás deacht bí tún scileachta an, agus dúlán rialta a dúrt don Munrach. Ní rivéin tóir a leis na stálcine, na léirte, na háirithe politúla, agus dár nó hánig tauachán in níag tauachán. Dúrt an páp a leis na díni óga gur ef grá ag a dói, agus bí na díni óga chéan ag bailiú lóa har lár ag cúrtú ibla. Agus Harem Rodele, the Tragoidi, Agus Triboloidi on Tushkut. When you're involved in discussing political events in, in culture in, like in Ireland, it's really hard to actually convey to a new audience what a particular moment was like, you know, and why certain forces operated in the way they did. Because what you realize is after when you try to put it together even for yourself, that the bits don't seem to fit together. They don't, you know, it's not quite clear. Why did people behave like this? You almost have to go back to some starting point and, and trace it all through again. It was a very dark time, very, very, I mean, I, looking back on it, I mean, I always see the clouds, you know, I always have this sense of, of cloud and, and, and of darkness. Yeah, and, 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 uh, uh, but, and yet the, the music wasn't dark. You know, the music wasn't, I mean, there were somber parts within it, like, but it was a very, very exhilarating music as well. Very proud, very, very direct, and very, very elegant. Mask on Maria Banna Bunny Hjol Satrev Shisha, and the vehicle lord is Nikhil Tori Kiana Lefeshkin to money or food and hot. Ní raibh éin éisceacht iad Moving Hearts. Aigin a ahanta a bhaith iad gileir, ag iad ag faimu anish fwy anam nua. Ag fi adar differúil o éin vana a hán ag rompa, ar fi darca ka. Hug adar dúth ong gus o sílta agus go politú. Ní éad fi nav ard a iam of orha, agus ní raibh iad na darca con síasag a sa a váin a fi da tór fwy nara. Vi rod biog ele ag do na cerebe ko ma. Cad gadirach a vi a ianavaka na si gyo. Bonal an cainat conas mar honig moving hearts le chéile. Vi planksti a siúl ag am sin agus vi me giri dard agus percussion a hortis chaith an planksti agus vi imni ar Liam and agus Christy. Vi rod sa. Ní harla rod a bhí agus creakni planksti. Chimplan Amshin, because in Chin, 
Honey Christy Cool. The um the August um Krushi Kesham Fuin Smuinushin. A Marvi um Ranch Orange Egg Christy Nachro Irunok the Plankstick. My memory of it would be that the band grew out of certain songs. Uh, there's no time for love, there's Hiroshima and Nagasaki Russian Rodash. And I was actually doing both those songs with Planksty at the time. And I suppose myself and Donald got talking. because uh, Planksty was just a kind of a temporary thing at the time. And uh, we got talking about the idea of assembling because Donald had ideas for music, either a repertoire of songs. And it kind of grew from that. And, and the first person we contacted was, was Declan. He gave me a call and he said, uh, Donald and myself would like to come over and have a word with you. We're thinking of starting an electric band and we want you to join in, you know? And I said, okay, that sounds great. Like, this is very unusual. I thought, I thought it would, could be brilliant. And I also, I often listen to traditional music and I thought, why hasn't it got more balls? Why, why isn't there no bass in it or, you know? I mean, this is, a, a, this is before the Botty Band or, you know, so it hadn't got a bottom end, really. Like, the Chieftains never had any bottom end. And I always wondered why, like, it's, it's light to me, you know? I'm looking at it with a particular head. This isn't a criticism of, of the way traditional music works, but the way it was to me at the time, you know? No, but no kick drum, no bass, you know. Why not? Start was a gig called the Mugs gig, which was Christy O'Donnell and Declan Sinnott in the Bagot Inn in the summer of 1980. And during that gig, they said, wouldn't it be great to expand a bit? So they then brought in bass player Owen O'Neill and drummer Brian Kalman. Then Donald was talking with Christy and Declan and Owen. Wouldn't it be good if we had? Maybe a front line. Uh, well, Ellen Pipes is the obvious thing. And Donald always had this thing of wanting to experiment with a saxophone and Ellen Pipes. Concurrently with that, I was holidaying on the Greek island. And I came out of a taverna. And outside the taverna, there was half a dozen Queen's University students playing Irish traditional music. Inside the taverna was Greek music on the PA system. And something sprung in my head which was, there's a relationship here between these different traditional musics and the music I love, which is jazz music. And I said this to my then girlfriend and she said, you should talk to somebody about that. It's very important that you talk to somebody about that when you go back to Ireland. You should talk to somebody like Donald Lunny or somebody would know. So I found out where Donald was playing, which was the Muggs gig in the Bagot Inn, and had a conversation with Donald who said, coincidentally, we're looking for a saxophone player. And a fortnight later, I was rehearsing with him. A week after that, Davy Spillane arrived. Winter meal side us in Dermot and Minnick, because Fader or Rog of Fearnock could have four more let egg moving hearts. Croy Bromey Agus Dard, Agus Guitar Electric Declan Sinner, Willa Agus Rihel Noa Fuinuil, Nock Revel Clos, a Gyol Tradishunta, the Deja. A Homalishin, Vunlichild and Hyol Hain, Er Valig nor Harla Reeve River. Le Mask on Driach Doyle Davis Balan, or a Beab Illen, Agus Keith Donald, er and saxophone, Krohiok Fomer Le, a Wingus Sunrock, Le Moving Hearts. I don't know that we were actually conscious that nobody had ever done it before, because nobody had done it before. But it was a sound that we liked, and Davy and I did talk about this a lot on the road and a lot in rehearsals, about how to play really together so that there was no kind of separation of the instruments. The pipes work in two keys, work well in D and in G. That's concert pitch. This is a B-flat instrument, which means if I play a C on this instrument, it comes out concert B-flat. So I've got to play everything a tone up from what it
Cool, isn't it? Yeah, thank you. Absolutely fantastic. But what I was doing that night, at that kind of speed, Davy would also be putting the ornamentation in. So his fingers were working more than mine would be, but in an easier key. Shadows. How did that come about? Um, Don, it's actually the only one of the three tunes on the on the album that we sat down and decided to write something. And uh, Donald said, what, "What kind of thing will we write?" And I said, uh, uh, "Suppose you write something like that's like Oreda, like Sean Oreda, but is in an odd time signature, like five four six four seven four, something odd." And uh, and he asked me to. So I sing something, and I sang the first thing that came into my head, which was da 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 and uh, and he's okay. That's a good place to start. Let's start there. Well, he said him got Declan Owen was my hen a screeching in the other you know. And goes um, ah just he said uh, we mentioned Aaron Aaron Road again I'm saying faster. Yeah. I goes down which we mentioned Stapu in uh, hotel. Lake of Shadows Hotel in Bonkrana. Lake of Shadows Hotel. Lake of Shadows Hotel. <laughs> it's not a real hotel. Oh, it's a real hotel. <laughs> <laughs> it's in 5-4. It's the only tune that we ever did in 5-4. Uh, and it gave us great pleasure to watch the masses in front of us trying to dance in 5-4. <laughs> <laughs> Vi quid va holora ke kyo elim la kias na shakta de agas na hokta de. Le firne ni revant ak shomri berg brena i gana te tarna agas klubal. Dora mar eganam ko ev shiet sais parsenta kluher. Vi aite va ane ke moving hearts in of rather ke homala ane ke bala agas beshin on bagetin. Ich habe mich nicht gesehen, dass ich so gerillt habe, dass ich mich nicht gesehen habe, dass ich mich nicht gesehen habe. Und dass Nask und Dlu Wind erleben, in Moving Hearts, dass ich mich nicht gesehen habe. Nur wenn ich hier durch Wald und hier durch Rief, wie ich hier durch Schindler gesehen habe, und Luen und Mord, und ich bin hier drin. Und ich habe hier auch noch ein Kern, ein Ding, der Loch lernt, Moving Hearts. Keine Leute, die wachen hier, Moving Hearts, und hier durch Rief, der ist hier. So bag it in. We had a rehearsal space on the top floor at the Bagot Inn. We could be up in the top of the Bagot Inn in the morning and afternoon rehearsing stuff and not even trying it out in front of a, an audience. And it was in that scruffy, dusty room on the top of the Bagot Inn that that lineup that you've just described uh, first played together. Walking into the room was always like a real buzz, you know? Basically, every night that I remember, we, we, we did the business. Donald was playing a prophet uh, synth, you know, and the prophet was very unreliable. And the only way we could make it work constantly, keep it working, was there was a point on it where if you pressed it down, it would work properly. So we had a, a brush pole, which we'd taken the head off, and it was going from the synth to the ceiling of the stage. <laughs> and wedged in. <laughs> People have different memories. That's one of my memories. How far does the wind share the politics? Near the end, five real moving hearts and narca or no oil. Early one, no early other. Therefore, all moving hearts full rain the drip loidy. Out on one, if he better than dark Irish ways and Irish laws. Out on a honey cool, thresh gig untuk sabagat. Once upon a time there was Irish ways and Irish laws 
this man came over to me and I got chatting to him, John Gibbs. And I remember he sang the song into my ear in a very crowded bar. And straight away I called Donald. I said, Donald, you, we have to, you have to hear this song. And we went upstairs and uh, Donald had a cassette. We recorded it. And we actually started playing it that night. We rehearsed it at the band rehearsal the next day and we performed it the following night. Le Sean Queer of course the Eganal, Daimshig Irish ways and Irish laws, Lok Fiak on the Eak Soil, Lok Eishtikta, Nokrev Poka La Politiok on Tushkert, Norvra Grev Ean Winter Kolesh, Akvisha Sha Eak Soil, the Earth Fee Ligentart, Nokrev She Aung the Hille, the Earth Fee Navard the Yanavar. The thing I felt about the Wolf Tones and other bands like that, like the Barley Corn, is that the, everything they did was coached in. Uh, this is something that has happened and is over. We're singing about an old thing. We're singing rebel songs, but we're singing about 1916 and 1922, essentially. We're not actually singing about it's happening now. And th there was a cushion around it, a cushion of history and stuff around it that made it not as relevant. We were trying to sing about this, is, you know, like with the haste black thing, somebody will die next week. It's very to the bone, which made it great to, to try and do it, but also it kept us alive in a way that singing about something that happened 40 years before or 50 years before wouldn't have had that effect on us. The Anam Kart done an album machine. I was in Bonnet Kill, Shadow. I was in on Ryer, a V. Elvin, a V. Well, V. Christie, sort of, V. Christie's the forefront, then Ryer Shin. For us, the Moving Hearts, we had a chat one day about the lyrics of the songs that Christie was singing. And we had a band rule that anybody could exercise the power of veto. In other words, anybody put their hand up and say, I don't like that line in that song. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to stand with you for that particular line in that song, or the, indeed an entire song. But interestingly, nobody exercised the power of veto, ever. We all bought into and were very happy with all the lyrics of all the songs. To see the gates being opened up To a Christy was the main political drive, but Keith and Donald were very strongly into it as well. I learned a lot, you know, particularly about Northern politics. Listen to Christy and everybody else's perspective. I'm not sure I would have been sympathetic to start with, but I really got it, you know, and when I got it, I, I mean, I've, I've felt the same ever since about Northern politics, but, but uh, it was also a co-op. Which, and there was ten members, the, the, the road crew and ourselves were all, we, we, we made ten way decisions, we got paid the same, uh, and we did everything together. That really helped us, it, it, internally, externally it didn't help anything, because record companies and stuff were going, no way, I'm not talking to ten people, send, them, send in a, can I speak to a man in a suit, you know, that kind of, uh, so that was disastrous in a way. Well, I think, had it not been for Clive Hudson, Moving Hearts would not have been recorded, probably. Clive got it. You know, I wouldn't say Warner's got it. It was Clive that got it. And, you know, he, he kind of got us on board in Warner's. I can remember playing in the stadium one night and one of the, is it Neshewi Erchigan? That's right. Uh, he came to the gig, who was kind of Mr. Warner's. And uh, there was a lot of execs with him. But he didn't, I don't think he was too impressed. But Clive, fair play to Clive Hudson. Yeah. You know, he, he waved the flag for moving hearts at a time when no Irish record company would have happened to do with us. We look on the honour of moving hearts. We on word of mouth on the lighter, we the gigs galere, long the barra, August Peter, a tacht, a tacht, a tacht on Tom or Fad. Inish. On Stein Reven Gono Corele Kele, Vishe Avinburg, Eschgar Tul, Collective of Vian, Agus Vishe Sai Dakolo, Dunning Lek, Le Fir Gono, Kursi Gono, Agus Kolokti Kernini, Martian Fane, In Nadia Rock Tahan, the Shinichi of Conrad, Le Warner Brothers, Honigan Kernina Mark, 
agus dhimhi sé gur bar na cartaine. There was huge interest in us. I mean, we were getting stuff like four-page spreads in uh, the Sunday World, for instance, because we were doing something that nobody ever heard before, and we were also singing uh, lyrics which were challenging, which made you think they weren't Moon and June. They were far from it. They were uh, stuff to make you think and stuff to make you aware. People were jumping up and down about it, no doubt. Some people hated it. You know, I, I think some of the traditional people probably thought this is awful. For a lot of people, we were just, we, we weren't uh, acceptable for, uh, like, the, the, our, our stance on Northern Ireland, and not just on Northern Ireland, but on, uh, like, No Time for Love is a song about just, it's a them and us song, you know? If they're gonna come and get you, they'll come at five o'clock in the morning when you're at your weakest. Um, and Hiroshima and Nagasaki, a lot of it is about uh, the awfulness of politics and the use of politics against ordinary people, which is uh, the best thing you could be saying as far as I'm concerned. But, but we didn't, it didn't endear us to lots of people. No time for love if they come in the morning. No time to show tears of her fears in the morning. No time for goodbye and no time to ask why. And the sound of the sirens, the cry of the morning. Be in the Horan Chow political, you know. I was near Hathi, um, Horan political, the Kujwardini. So we be a scholar on the Nadini Aro Kra Moraku, the moving hearts. Akvidini Ella. Agus, uh, hani an kio, you know, more ach, near while yo um, or um, political protest songs. I think what we have to remember, most importantly, is that moving hearts gigs were great crack. There was great fun at them, and there was great music, and there was people jumping around, and it was yeah. You know, people weren't there because there was a deep, meaningful political message coming, you know. It was because the gigs were great and the music was great. Yeah. And that's why the band was popular. When you listen to, the, to Moving Hearts music, a certain mood, I mean, certainly in the Celtic Tiger years, I would, I would say, it was probably very difficult for a lot of Irish people to listen to that music because it, it didn't somehow fit in to the kind the mood that had been generated in that period. What about now? I think it could make a comeback. Rather lay back here in moving hearts. The honig share on the seal. The flesh share is stuck in our seal, in our grihe, and in our alma. Is the a thought dacher a credulent than law to another. Ashtok the raw, Bader Gwil, Bana Agent, Imile Agent, Oit Agent in Erin, Gor Cordoiv, Fulmrian Nuo Kurdekeda, the law to a new vow. The Gair Gaw is in passion of the moving hearts, August to Gair Gawlish, a reached. It was ferocious at its best. I, I have to say, I don't think the album captures that, you know. And we didn't at the time even. Well, I certainly didn't. And I think in general we felt, well, it's okay, but when we went to play live, it was far better. And it, we, we, we just, I think we didn't know how to capture it, you know. Would you do it all over again? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, <laughs> Yeah, I'd love to do it all over again, but do it a bit differently. But then, that's always the way, isn't it? It was a great time. It was a great time. And, uh, sure, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs>
I'm Tatlin Shakuan, the Fury Brothers, and Davy Arthur, the Green Fields of France. Bigilin.